any freshman that comes in, you just, you know, you want him to be able to perform at the best uh, that they possibly can. And I think Mikey's come in and surprised a lot of people. Um, you know, we knew he was a very competitive young man, and we knew that he had great football intelligence. Uh, but we didn't realize that the ability that he's really shown to be our leading receiver as a true freshman um, is, you know, an outstanding mark for him. And he's got three more opportunities to prove that, uh, you know, he could be one of the best, if not the best freshman in the, uh, in the conference. Can you talk about the progression of his confidence level? Do you think he expected this out of him this season? Uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting because Mikey's a, a very nervous individual when he co when it comes to uh, before games and and of course you can only imagine the uh, the first one that he played in. Uh, I think he visited the restroom a couple times prior to that game, but he as he progresses through uh, these games, uh, you can see that he's getting more and more comfortable, more and more confident. Uh, he was a little nervous last week. There's no question about it. Uh, but I, I, you see him maturing as he gets more and more reps. When you recruit a kid like that, you start looking at where he comes from and what his work habits have become. So everything he's accomplished so far is really not a surprise because um, he's a football junkie. Um, he came in early and benefited from being here in spring ball, um, learned the offense, worked hard, and, you know, he's reaping the, the – um, I guess you can say the rewards of his um, work. So, you know, we're happy for him, and, you know, but we still got a long way to go. Can you compare the expectations you guys had for him coming into the season versus what you expect out of Mikey now? Well, the thing about it is that when we were recruiting him, we knew that um, we would either be playing against him and he'd be catching 300 passes or he'd be playing for us and catching 300 passes. Um, but you never knew that he would be this good this soon. And, you know, the excitement that we have is just imagine how good he's going to be when he actually knows what he's doing. Every game, every practice, you know, he, he's like a veteran out there, you know, just, uh, you know, really mature kid. And uh, I would say he's a leader on the receiving core. When you first started working out with him and throwing to him, is this some kind of chemistry that you thought like this would work and that he would be this successful in his first year? Yeah, I mean, I thought he was going to be really good, but, uh, you know, he's a true freshman out there making these plays. I don't think anyone really realized how good he, you know, was going to do this year and he's done amazing and you know he's always in the film room always trying to get better do you think he thought that he could do this in his first year i'm sorry what you said? do you think he thought that he could do this in his first year uh yeah i think so i mean he's a confident <laughs> kid and um you know the way he works um you know nothing's no limitations with him when did you find out and kind of take me through your emotion when you did find out um I, I knew i was close i knew i needed like 30 yards um and after my long play against ohio state i didn't even think about it until about the fourth quarter uh, one of my teammates came up to me and was like, bro, like, you broke the record. And I was like, really? Like, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, a lot of my family was there. I got a lot of family out in Ohio. Um, so it was cool for them to come up and, and see me break a record. What, um, what, talk about your expectations. Did you expect this coming out of you from your first year? Uh, you know, a lot, I mean, of course I did. But, you know, a lot of people probably say that they wouldn't have. But, you know, I work hard. I put in a lot of time uh, to prepare myself for games. And uh, thankfully, my number's been called a few times, and I've been, go out, been able to go out there and make plays. Just talk about the progression of your confidence level week through week uh, here at Illinois. Yeah, uh, you know, coming out in the first game, I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I think if I went back and watched the film, I'd sort of laugh at myself the way I played. Um, but each week, it's got, I've been getting more confident, more confident, you know, uh, as I play in these different environments on the road. Uh, you know, Ohio State, Nebraska, Wisconsin are one of the, the top, like, top three in the country. Uh, or at least in the Big Ten, so it's pretty cool to be able to play at those three places. Uh, it definitely boosts my confidence, you know, for more away games that we have, um, to know that it probably won't be as many people there as there were at those other schools. Uh, and then playing at home, you know, it, it's just gotten better and better every week. I felt like I'm just calming down and, and becoming better. What have you learned uh, at your time here at Illinois on the field? Uh, you know, I, I've learned a lot. Um, not only on the field, off the field. Um, my teammates are doing a good job of, of helping me uh, through the game. Um, I, like I've always, I've always said, I think you learn a lot through experience. Um, and that's something I didn't really have in the beginning of the year. So now that I'm getting experience, I think it's helped me out a lot. Try to look towards the future a little bit. Where do you see your future you know, taking place and how far do you think you can go? Um, you know, I, I like to say, you know, the NFL, um, I mean, that's been a dream of mine since, since I was young, but you know, you got a lot of people telling you, you can't do something, uh, you really want to go out there and do it. So, you know, in 10 years from now, I see myself in the NFL. What motivates you? 
Um, really, my family. Uh, they, they're always telling me I can do it. Uh, they're, they're very high supporters of me. Um, and then I guess all the all the people have told me I, I wouldn't be able to, to get anywhere in life because of, or not in life, but in football because of my size. Um, so, you know, I really, when I'm in the weight room or I'm out on the field, I like to think about that and then push myself through certain situations. Some legends are told, some turn to dust or to gold, but you will